somebody. Yeah. So why isn't the, that person using the same technology? He stays a bit away. Yeah. It's only the laborer who stays here. Yeah. So the laborers are unlucky. Yeah. Uh, he stays in his room. He's a brother yeah. in law to me. Yeah. Yes. And then that one also somebody else's? Yeah, yeah, he has hired. Yeah, yeah we lease. Yeah, we lease farms. The land. Uh, yeah. So it's someone who is there for a certain time, and then yeah. he leaves. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But then I think it will be stupid not to mm. to use this, right? Mm. When you have such a big difference. They right? say even when the white men brought sugar into Africa, yeah. the Africans were took a long time to use that sugar. Yeah. They saw it as if it's ah, not something nice. new. But when they have come to learn it's something sweet, they yeah. now use it. And now use it. Yeah, but so it takes a while. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. this is really the sugar, huh? Yes. That mm. <laughs> this is good. You know, <laughs> I will you. say it next time. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Uh, wh what do you think when you see this? Uh, is it gonna no, I mean, this one is so exciting. I mean, it's uh, a black and white technology. Mm. Uh, so it's a dramatic difference. So it's, uh, it makes like my, my job so rewarding. Mm. So exciting that you see, uh, just in one, with one technology can make a difference in one season for, uh, for the people. Mm. It's just uh, an amazing thing, yeah? So it's, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah. This, this one, how long has it been, this, this farm? On, on the, this is the year 2003. 2003? Uh, 2003. Yes, we have two seasons. See, so this is two, two or three, uh, so long rains. A long rain? Yes. So twice, uh, twice, uh, twice, a, twice year. a year reproduce. Yes. Yeah? So this has been with the technology since, since two, two or three. So 12 years, basically. Yes. 12 years, a really good productivity. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what is making the difference? So what is making a difference is that uh, maybe if we can go in inside the, the field, I, I will explain it to you. Uh, so we have this technology um, intercropping with the maize. There is a magical plant called uh, Desmodium, a legume uh, plant, which is interplanted within the maize. So that, that uh, plant produces chemicals to repel insects. And then it produces also chemicals inside uh, to in, in the soil to also prevent any of the parasitic weed and other weeds. So the women, they don't have to uh, weed, hand weed, they don't have to do anything. It's also, this field is also with no fertilizer. It has no fertilizer that you don't have to apply, but this beautiful, healthy plant. No disease, no pest, and no uh, fertilizer added. It's just with one technology. And, and uh, it's just a marvelous technology, and I'm very proud that it is a super that, that developed this technology in the whole world. Yeah. And who discovered it? Who discovered it is a, a scientist accidentally discovered it uh, some several years ago. So you'll meet him uh, today. Uh, so, and then over the years, several people and partners in Europe as well got involved to really decipher the, the science behind it, the chemistry behind this plant, why this plant is doing uh, what it's doing. And uh, so also women in Africa are engaged into hard, uh, you know, hard labor. Uh, so they don't have to hand weed now uh, because it is once you have this technology, it is done. Uh, they don't have also to go to long distance to uh, look for animal feed because this plant plus a trap plant around it called brachera, it's also high quality feed for animals. So with one, uh, one this is that you you can have productivity in your cattle uh, milk uh, production uh, even the the chicken and other anim animals can feed this also uh, you can improve uh, uh, the soil fertility you can sure. yeah you uh, you have a lot of other things uh, that that come into this one package what do you so think of it it also controls soil erosion. Yeah, you see, yeah. Soil erosion and yeah. also uh, even aflatoxin. This yes. toxin is also low. Eh? Yes. Yeah. So it's a big advantage, this? Pardon? It's a big advantage yes. using yeah. this. Yes, right? it's yeah. a big advantage. Mostly to we widows. We mm. now rely on our chambers to educate our children, mm. to get our daily bread, yeah. and we are settled now. Mm. Mm. You, have, uh, you have more food and more yes. income. Yes, yeah. with security. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm. So it's, it's a sort of multiple system? Then. Absolutely, multiple system. It fits into the African uh, mixed livestock crop system. Uh, so uh, 
and then during the drought season also that they can harvest this animal feed it's a perennial one they can sell it for also for, for generating uh, additional income to animal feed mm. they can feed their animals so uh, during, during the drought season a critical issue for animals is f lack of feed and they have it you could say if it's okay so can you explain that so this is a normal maize field by farmers with a normal regular varieties that they use but it doesn't have our technology the push pull technology um, so you can see then because of that it uh, looks miserable it is yellowish uh, which shows uh, deficiency in nutrient it's very skinny the the maize uh, urns are very small uh, it's not a happy one so they will produce very little out of this Whereas when you go there, here, the next uh, field where the technology uh, is there, our technology with the, the desmodium plants there, uh, intercropped with the maize. And um, here is a desmodium. This is a plant, magical plant, which is uh, intercropped with a, with a maize. So what it does, it uh, produces aerially a chemical that is repels uh, insects like stem borers. So what the insects when they run away from here, so they don't affect the, the, the maize plant. And this is a trap plant, uh, grass called Napier grass, a trap plant. This one has an attractant. It attracts uh, the stem borers that are repelled from here. So that's called, it's called push and then pull, attracts it. But it doesn't allow once uh, the stem borers uh, lay their eggs, it doesn't allow it to hatch and complete its uh, life cycle. So it, it dies. So it's a beautiful system uh, uh, and a lot of chemistry in it. Okay. Then on the other hand, you have here adjacent field planted at the same time, the same variety, but the difference is that it has our technology. So you can see here the magical plant, which is a, a desmodium intercropped with a, with, a, with a maize. So the plant uh, exudes chemical uh, volatile into the air that uh, repels um, stem borers, insects. So it protects the maize plant. But once uh, a stem borer goes, then this plant has a, has a set of chemicals. This is a, the trap plant, so, so it is pushed from here by, by this, by desmodium. Then it is pulled or attracted by this uh, grass. Uh, it's a trap plant. But it uh, attracts the insect, but it doesn't, once the uh, insect lays uh, its eggs, it doesn't allow it to, to hatch and to complete its life cycle. So the insect dies. But this also does a magical plant. It is a legume plant, so it fixes nitrogen up to 160 kilogram of nitrogen per, per uh, hectare. So you would think that this maize has a fertilizer, but it has zero fertilizer. It doesn't have. So it has uh, natural nitrogen, and you can see the, the ears are much bigger. You can see much bigger than the, the one without the technology. And it's greener, it's healthier. But what also I really like about this technology is that uh, women who are normally tasked to uh, hand weeding, they don't have to weed any anymore. This they don't. It suppresses a number of other variety of weeds and the parasitic yeah. weed. So it's a beautiful technology. It improves the soil. It increases the all organic matter of the soil. It conserves moisture. It produce it also this grass. And this legume also, this modem are also high quality feed for animals. So it solves a lot of problem for a livestock uh, crop mixed system. So yeah. this is a beautiful technology and I'm very proud that the technology was developed in Africa by, by our scientists, this is for scientists. You could almost say, could you explain a little, little bit about, it's a sort of chemical warfare almost. Eh? What is happening between yeah. the plants and the insects? Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. What, what, what is happening? So, uh, yeah. So what we are doing here actually is, and when you look at it, it is really using the natural system uh, of plants fighting insects on their own with the natural system. We are enhancing that system to create a very sustainable 
uh, and, and effective system for, uh, for production. So we have not, apart from understanding the, the chemicals, the structure, how it works, and putting a lot of science into it, we are basically using uh, uh, Mother Nature to, to work for us. On a very scientific basis. On I a mean, scientific it's... basis, yes, absolutely. There is a lot of, to develop the system, it took uh, around 15, 20 years to understand the chemicals that are produced by this, to understand the, the, also the chemicals both below ground and above ground by both plants, to uh, also uh, really also make a lot of uh, sense to combine it and to work. Uh, so it's, it's, there's a lot of science behind it, a lot of chemistry in this. But it looks quite incredible. I mean, if you see the difference. Absolutely, it's, it's, it's an incredible system uh, that I can't, I can't I can't stop smiling about, about this technology. Uh, so this actually, with this alone, we can solve a lot of problems for Africa, for, for productivity, for, for um, food security, for nutritional security, uh, uh, through, through uh, providing high quality feed to the animals and, and income for, uh, and reduction of labor for women and children. It is just an amazing technology. But you don't mm -hmm. use any fertilizer, do you? The, no fertilizer. So th there is also an incredible so amount of environmental also protection from here, environmental health also, because uh, if you have, when you apply fertilizer, particularly a lot of nitrogen, it leaches out, uh, it contaminates your water, water base and so on. So you, do, you are not applying herbicide, you are not applying uh, um, uh, insecticide, you are not applying... Uh, uh, fertilizer, uh, so this is, uh, uh, so you cannot even quantify the amount of the environmental impact also uh, in this, because it's uh, difficult. And the soil, soil is fertile and more uh, organic matter and, and so on, so we are creating extremely sustainable system for, uh, for farmers mm -hmm. to, to produce, yeah. Would you have had, loved to have it when you were young, actually? I, I wish actually um, because I, I grew up in a farm and before and after school one of my tasks was to weed. Uh, so it's really a back-breaking task. So weed all this uh, in, in the farm. I wish I had this technology because I used to think as a young wish, uh, I wished in, as a young girl like, ah, oh, I wish uh, the, the weeds disappear. Uh, so that I could focus more on my homework and, and so on. Uh, so I had also to go to to the forest to uh, look for animal feed, to feed the goats and uh, the other things. So this is all happening there. So the kids now can go to school. Uh, the, the mothers uh, do other things. Uh, they don't have to uh, break their back. Uh, so it's a beautiful system. So with this technology, we have reached more than 110,000 farmers uh, to, to date. But I think we should be reaching millions of farmers because they need it. They need this, uh, this technology. Yeah. And so, um, but we need a, a lot more effort, global effort to, to do this, to scale it out. Yeah. We're in a hurry, yeah? Yeah, and we're in a hurry. We are in a hurry to do this, yes. When we have a technology that works, uh, there's, no, there's, no, there's no need to, to wait. We have to, we have to make things happen. Yeah. For the future of Africa. For the future of Africa, for the future of these young kids that we see, so that they go to school, they improve their their lives, their future, and uh, and they have enough food. Uh, so yeah. All right. Can, yes. And so you don't have to plow. Also, you just hoe it when yeah, you plant. Yeah, we just hoe yeah. and plant. After mm. harvesting that is what you just hoe and plant. Yeah. Yes. And you, uh, but women don't plow with a hoe, with a. Women, uh, here women yeah. don't plow. They, yeah. they are afraid of oxen, oxen, oxen. so they don't. Yes. So, so, it, so is this a technology yes, suitable for you guys? Yes, very easy. Ah, okay, mm. very, very good. Okay, I think this is a very interesting story to tell also. Okay. So uh, you don't have to do, uh, you don't have to do a lot of things so mm. that you can sustain as a woman household uh, yes. head, you can do everything. Yeah, you can mm. do everything. Mm. So, uh, that's very good, yeah. Yes. So why don't you teach these guys? Like, look, yeah, my mess is better, and then we we, we uh, have treated we have treated many, we have taught many. Yeah, yeah just across. But this guy is uh, not smart. This one doesn't stay around. He stays As away. Another one, he just away. plants it, and he goes. Yeah, he's yeah, not yes. going to be bothered yeah. by uh, yeah, by around. putting all this. Yeah. He's in Kisumu. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So. But sometimes when you don't have 
enough uh, desmodium do you add to it or you don't add it it just comes back we, we do add because we have even yeah. been taught how to plant vines yeah. so we do add up ah with the vine yourself yes yes uh, okay. mm. but so uh, after we have after the maize the time we are doing the mm. the uh, hoeing we plant mm. Mm. but as a whole it is a very uh, easy uh, thing yes, i think it's once very you do it easy, mentally yes. you don't have to uh, yeah, you don't, don't get uh, weed all these things mm. yeah. yeah it's okay. easy yeah. It's very good. It's really very good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. It's a good, good farm. I think. When I, I was uh, a young girl, so I grew up in a small village like mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I didn't have this uh, technology, so I had to do the weeding before school, after school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if I had this, this would have been nicer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Yeah. So how much does it improve the people's life here? Well, in this kind of community, it's a community of smallholder farmers who typically suffer from food insecurity because of striker and stem borers and poor soil fertility. Now, a farmer like uh, Miss Agnes Ambuvi has greatly benefited from the push-pull technology developed by ICPE by improving her grain yield by at least three tons per hectare. In this kind of community, they have such serious food insecurity that people eat only once a day. But since they started uh, practicing push-pull technology, she's able to have sufficient food, enough grain, and the push-pull companion crops, the Bracaria or Napier and Desmodium combined, is enabling her to actually uh, produce enough milk to sell. And she has also over 30 chickens here that you can see roaming here. And this technology, what it's doing is that, one, is enabling more and more women farmers take part in farming because it's reduced the labor requirement and it's enabling su uh, sustainable intensification of agriculture such that farmers like this one can realize an economic benefit. For example, Ms. Agnes Ambuvi has managed to educate three daughters up to college level. One of them is an accountant and as you can see the evidence here, she's built her this wonderful new house. When we first met Agnes, she was a widow struggling with three small children and she had a mud house here, I think ar around the corner there. It was a small house with a rusty roof. And now you can see she's really moving, in, she's in transition moving out of subsistence farming into commercial agriculture. And this is what we'd like to scale up in the rest of Africa to enable farmers like her produce enough food. And what we discovered also that because of Striga, many farmers were abandoning agriculture. We found that if a farmer cannot earn more than $70 a month, they abandon farming altogether. And that has very serious food security implications for Africa because 80% of the food is produced by smallholder farmers like Agnes. So actually it's really improving some on, a, on general level, but also on, on the very family level, their life. Correct. So, uh, starting from family level, they have food sufficiency and nutrition improvement, especially for the women and children, because they have sufficient grain and they have sufficient protein and milk. And um, at national level, at macro level, they're actually contributing into the National Food Reserve because they produce over 80% of, of the food. And in a very sustainable way. Very, very sustainable. And this has long-term development implications. When you enable a smallholder farmer intensify the use of her limited land resources, and then she has more choices because of the intensive production, those choices enable her to have more enterprises on farm. Like uh, Agnes now keeps dairy cows, just like her neighbor that you spoke to, uh, Debbie, also has dairy cows. And it's remarkable that uh, a widow can come out of poverty using this technology as a springboard. And this has long-term development impact because the surplus grain that she has, the surplus milk she has, can be sold for cash. And with that, she's educated her daughter. And this seems to be a growing trend because even uh, Debbie has a daughter in university. She's educating using push-pull technology. So it's got a very long-term development implication. Okay, I'd like you to tell one more story. What is a widow? A widow is a woman whose husband died and uh, in a paternalistic society as we have here, men are the traditional breadwinners. So when the husband dies, uh, the widow really has a lot of economic difficulty. 
uh, one, access to land resources, and two, being able to generate sufficient cash to take children to school, and even just for day-to-day for -day sustenance. It's difficult if one is a widow. So it's really remarkable that they've come out of that situation to this kind of situation. This is a very dignified kind of life that Agnes is living. So these are my animals. I use the Desmodia folder to feed them from the technology. You have enough of that? Hmm? There's enough now? Mm. I'll, I'll give them in the evening. But did this field give you enough? food yes, to feed the animals now? Yes, it gives me enough food, although I, I at times add from my Dawana Shamba because there's a lot of theft. When you leave at night, you get they have stolen it all to their animals. So at the moment, I get enough, some for them, for their lunch and supper. And there's a lot of theft, you say? That Pardon? You, there's a lot of theft, you say? No. There's a lot of theft, yeah. yes, yes. And that's There's because of your, your stock is doing so, or your feed is doing so well. Yes, it increases the product, uh, production of milk to the animals. So you see how they like it. <laughs> 